So what we're looking at here in the bottom diagram is a representation of the somatic nervous system and on the top we've got a representation of the autonomic nervous system. So just to refresh your memory on the basic makeup of the somatic nervous system, we've got a peripheral stimulus being picked up by a sensory receptor and this peripheral stimulus gets brought back into the central nervous system by the sensory neuron. The sensory neuron has, if you remember, the cell bodies in the dorsal root ganglion and this pseudo unipolar neuron passes via the dorsal root into the dorsal aspect of the spinal cord. And these sensory fibers ascend to the brain via the dorsal columns or the anterolateral system, the spinothalamic tract, in which case they would cross over and ascend. Now it's the efferent component that I want to draw your attention to. So we've got the motor neuron, the motor component of the somatic nervous system originating in the ventral horn of the spinal cord in the grey matter and it leaves via this ventral root and then it has this single neuron which innervates the skeletal muscle and results in contraction. So the key here is that there's one single neuron in the efferent component of the somatic nervous system which extends from the central nervous system to the periphery.